Hey guys, welcome back to the Randomness 101 podcast. I'm your host, Spentar. And I am your co-host, Arceon. And you interrupted me. I was about to say, Spentar, the centaur. You know, we're back for another podcast, guys. How's it been? It's been a hot minute since we actually recorded one. Yeah, these. so we're probably a little rusty and out of practice, but that's not yeah, true. We'll be good enough. That's not true. We're never out of practice. How how have you guys been, audience? I I haven't heard from you guys in a little while. Uh, to be honest, we never hear from them. We never do. Shubaduck's doing great, man. I mean, Shubaduck's like our main audience, and he's over here. He's dancing away, bro. Speaking of, he's been dancing away since episode one. Shubaduck is tired (laughs) as fuck right now. I was about to say, have we found like a something to replace Shubaduck? Like, I don't know, but if we did, I'm putting it on the screen now. We didn't. We totally didn't. This is literally it's just gonna put a frowny face or something on there, man. Um, (laughs) well, guys, we've we're back. Uh, it's been a minute, and it's partially because RCM was supposed to upload an episode and I forgot to give it to him. So today I'm going to give the other episode for him to upload, and then we'll have this one for so him to upload. So hang on, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said RCM was supposed to upload a video, but I didn't give it to him. Are you saying it's my fault, or no, is it your totally fault? No, it's totally my fault. It's totally <laughs> my fault. So I was, I was I was hoping you'd play that well. I mean, it's kind of well, both I mean, our faults. Well, I mean, kind of, it kind of is both our faults. And well, by both our faults, I mean only my fault. Bear. I was supposed to do the editing, and oh. I did the editing. But the one day we were meeting up was yesterday, and I forgot to give it to you yesterday whenever you left. What? We need to talk about yesterday, by the way. We need to talk about yesterday. Yeah, we will talk about yesterday. We'll get I into the podcast. I just realized I just put this in here, and I don't think That's I can perfectly pull this. fine. Those, those <laughs> they're little <laughs> caps. They're little caps for my mattress and stuff, and really, you don't even, we don't even need them. But I'm, I'm, I'm shooting them off. That's fine. So, guys. New Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Coming maybe. out soon. Maybe, maybe soon. Hopefully. You'll probably see the podcast before you see the video. We have been oh. talking We have been talking left and right about the Yu-Gi-Oh! video and how we want to make it and stuff. And we just made it. But I'll be honest, like, some of it, I felt like it was a little, like, it was quiet. We're, we're going to get it we're, fixed. Yeah, we're, we're going to get it fixed. We're going to either, we're going to either, like, add to it and make, and record more later on. Or we're going to do something. a voiceover over it or something. Or a voiceover we'll or something. We'll, we'll see. see. We, I have ideas of what we're going to do with it. Um, but anyway, yeah. Well, we'll see. We will see. We will see. Um, we shall see. So, so, podcast has been around for almost a year now. Last year, we went to the Renaissance Festival. And again, this year, we went to the Renaissance Festival. Only this time, okay. it was so much better. And given that you don't hear me... Like being like miserable, causing mischief over here. You can probably tell it wasn't. You were so depressed over last year's Renaissance Festival. Oh, I was so upset. We, pull up the episode on screen of just Arcyon and the one that he was upset. No, you know what? I remember that. I remember that because you totally botched the whole podcast. Yeah, episode. and so we made it a five point five. That was the we made it five point five, and we made it funny moments because you botched the episode. You just didn't even care. I, I really didn't like. We, I was so miserable and depressed that day that I just caused untold chaos. Because they didn't have they didn't have a good sword store last year. It wasn't stuff. even just about the sword store. Like you saw it this year. In general, it's just so much better this year. Yeah, and it's it's coming back a little bit. So we we went with uh, one of our other friends um, who one works of your with, friends, but yeah, he's, he's one of your coworkers' friends. I met the guy. He's a pretty cool guy, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, shout out to you. You know who your name is if you're listening to this. Uh, you're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Glad you think so. Because we were actually, we were, like, we were talking at the Renaissance Festival. We were having a blast, all three of us. And we were like, oh, we should play D&D together. We could get a D&D campaign going on. Yeah. So, we might end up be, we might end up doing that later. We thought about doing it today, um, but I was talking to my coworker, and he's like, ah, oh, I can't really do it today. Uh, maybe next week sometime or something like that. Mm, so. I think next week we're going to meet up with a potential third member of the group. A potential third member? Yes. You Probably. mean Shubaduck? No. I okay. mean the guy at my work that we keep putting off and things we, keep happening. We really do keep putting off because we've, we've been busy. He made a joke that he needs to just get a shirt that says, next Sunday I will meet Spintar. And it's just <laughs> like... <laughs> It's just like, yeah, at this I'm going to, you know what? Whenever I meet him, I'm going to wear the horse mask. <laughs> <laughs> be like, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, 
Ugh. Literally the horse mask, and then okay. So at the Renaissance Festival, I got the second Kirito sword that I was missing. I had the blue one, and now I have the black one too. So I have a both pair. I want to walk up to him, like have both swords strapped on my back with the horse hat on. Be like, "Yo, man, what's up? I'm Spentar." You need. You know what? Else? The only thing you're missing. Just holding your cat like an evil villain while you're stroking her. I could do that. <laughs> Granted, I don't think she'd she'd like that very much. So. I don't know. Depends. We'll we'll see. She's not an arm cat. She's a lap cat. Well, I'm definitely not. Like the thing is, we're probably going to meet him like somewhere else. So we'll probably uh, probably tra actually. I'm gonna have to bleep that. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna have you to bleep are. that. I said that without thinking. Okay. Yep, sorry, you did. folks, but it's all right. I mean, it's like editing. It gives me more work. It gives me something to do. <laughs> Literally, like I've just been sitting here with all this backlog of footage and stuff. It's like. Some of it I can edit, but for the most part, I, really can't, I can't, can't touch it. And yeah. uh, speaking of editing, before... Actually, no, let's finish talking about the Renaissance Festival first, and then I will talk about editing. Sorry, I'm too scatterbrained today. It's fine, but... Um, okay, so back to the Renaissance Festival. So we went there, and the first thing we did was get drunk. Exactly. We went for the mead. We went to try the mead. And I actually... Asked because my parents used to go there all the time and they got the mead and I asked him actually asked him, thirty five. It's thirty five percent. It's thirty five proof. That's honestly, it didn't feel like it was thirty five. It proof. really didn't. But they said that's what most meads are is thirty five. That's cool. That's so, cool. Actually. I thought it was five percent. Like I was thinking, <laughs> oh, it was just like a normal beer. No, that explains why we spent so much money and we just like went like so ballistic early on. Okay, like, so. We went, okay, first thing we did, went, got the mead, drink, started drinking the mead. Yeah, we were, were walking just, around. We were just walking around looking at shops and drinking when this guy dressed up in a pirate outfit just, he just. It was, it was pirates, it was pirates day. Yeah, it was pirates so. day, but he, he was, he was standing on the, on the, the top of these bleachers and he was like, hey, you three gentlemen, are no, you no. with the, the three, are you with the three ladies? We're like, oh, we wish, and then we're. <laughs> Yeah, we were like, we wish, and it turns out that the three women were part of a show, so they were they actually worked there. And he's like, oh, well, how about you three gentlemen come on up and... What, what and we're just say? like, and we look, at, we all kind of looked at each other, we're like, yeah, sure, why not? So we start, we just started following yeah. him. And so it turns out that he, he runs a booth, and I guess we were like the first people he saw that day or something, and he wanted to get, he just wanted to attract a crowd. So we had the three of us fight each other with, like, foam sturdy sturdy foam like it swords. was really sturdy foam and, and it was it was it was the funnest thing we had um i'm going to call the third person charles here just because i don't want to give away his name but we had me arcyon and charles all in a ring it was like 20 dollars per match keep in mind yeah it we was pretty spent, expensive okay so i paid for a whole round for all three of us i paid for a whole round and I know for a fact I spent about eighty bucks there because we spent paid, we spent a lot of money there. At so we just paid. That place. I paid a whole round, so that was sixty right there. But they paid me back for that one because it was twenty dollars per person. Yes, and then we play. We individually went up against some of the people that were the masters there. Like they were the people doing the booth and all that. I got my butt handed to me, and uh, Spentar did pretty well. I, I won against uh the what was it page the page the page so he was he was like younger guy probably like fifteen or so, um but I won against him, and then our other guy uh Charles the camel he won um, two he yeah he won like he won he, he won two he won two out of his three matches really yeah, and so yeah so then we went and we fought again and spent spent the, 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 the Spencer. Spentar. Spentar. Either Spentar one. paid that round. I and paid then, for that whole round for us three to fight. Yeah, so I'd Got already... Got stabbed in the neck by a spear. Because <laughs> <laughs> we both... We both... um, We both went... Like, we both... Okay, hold on. First round, did we team up on, on Charles? No, he... T he, You kept taking me out. You went straight for me one round. And then Charles came over and stabbed you with the spear as you were charging me. And I was like, thank you. Because <laughs> the rules were, it was like, um, what is it called? Monty Python combat. So it's like, if you get hit in the leg, you have to hop on one leg. If you get hit in the arm, you have to put your arm behind your behind your back. If you get hit in two limbs, you die. No, if you get hit in both your arms, you're out. And if you get, t you get your legs taken out, 
both your legs taken out. If you get your chest hit, you're dead. Face, head, and neck are off limits. Yeah, but I managed to get hit in the neck. <laughs> yeah, but no, so but we both we both went to charge Charles, and he was using like a long spear. I was using a uh, was I using a hammer at that one? Yeah, or? you were. If yeah. The first round was a hammer, and uh, you went for me every time the first round. Yeah, and then you went for me every time the second round. It died. That, except for that third one, which we both te- except for that third round on. Third round on the the third round where we both went for Charles. Yeah, we both teamed up for Charles, and I was so mad that Charles kept winning that as soon as I was out of the arena, I paid an extra twenty bucks just so that the Swordmaster could beat up Charles. Yeah, <laughs> and it he was, did. It he was did. hilarious because everybody was in such disbelief. They're like, "Oh, you're paying for this guy to fight?" It's like, "Are you sure?" It's like, "Like, are you you're paying for him to fight?" It's like, "Yeah, yeah." Yeah. So that was funny. Um, it was a good it was a good fun go about. Yeah. We had a blast at the Renaissance Festival. Yeah. The joust, was, we saw the jousting show. It was enjoyable. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was it was pretty funny. Yeah. It was pretty funny. It was. In the middle of the jousting show, we were all talking and I was just like, guys, we should we should play D&D together. Like me and me and me and RC on over here, we both looked at Charles at the same time. And we're like, we should we should play D&D. Yeah, he, should be he's D&D. just like, I, I'm up for it. He's like, yeah, I'm up for it. <laughs> Although, I will say, uh, one of the rounds, uh, it was between the purple and black knight and the blue and purple knight, and no one was cheering for the blue and purple knight. So, I was like, I feel bad for him, because he's supposed to be like the, the valiant hero in this series, or in this story, and no one's cheering for me, so I was just like, yeah, get him, and then everyone started cheering with me. <laughs> and then later on, later on, so he gets the rings, and he's like, well, this is awkward, because normally this never happens, which is true, like, it's normally supposed to be one guy wins, one guy loses. Yeah. So, me cheering kind of threw it off, because they have to, they're contribution depends on how much was cheering so my cheering and getting the crowd all riled up got him so later on they come the the black guy or the black and the black and purple knight was knocked off his horse and he comments and he points directly at me and he says that man in the hat distracted me and i was just (laughs) like way to call me out (laughs) But it's it's that kind of interaction where like you're part of the you're part it was of it great all. we had front row seats to it too yeah it was amazing it was, really cool. it was amazing so I I had a blast at this year's Ren Fest I didn't think I would have as much fun because like last year last year was last year was wasn't nearly as good it, no and but this time we had three people we were like everything was open we did the sword fighting stuff I bought a sword. I mean, yeah, did you, you, so do you understand why I was so disappointed about how it was last year? Because yeah. this year is how it kind of normally is, and then last year it was just nothing. It was yeah. so disappointing. It was, it was a fun time. Was I was afraid time. I would have to, to, like, try and convince him or bribe him to actually come because last year was so bad, but no, yeah. like, he was no. willing to go with Well, because and... you, you, you try to convince me to make it, like, a yearly thing, I'm like, yeah, sure, and then, um... What's, what's great is because I was talking to Charles, and I, I brought this up to you later, but I was just saying, I was like, this would be the perfect place to, like, make a real-life RPG and make quest lines yeah. for us to do. So, and my mom actually had a really interesting idea, and it was, like, we should go back there and take pictures. That's a work phone call. Or ignoring that. But we that. should go there, go back there, take pictures of specific things, so that next year we can come back and we have to match the pictures. That would be cool too, you know. Yeah, that would be cool too. So, like, I don't know if we're gonna do this like when we're gonna start doing the quest lines and stuff, but we maybe need to start writing year. it all down. Yeah, maybe next year. Well, I was gonna say we do it next year, but we need to like write everything down before next year. That way we know. One of the one of the quest line like a side quest should be like get a turkey leg, because <laughs> um, we had we had turkey leg, turkey legs, and then I had a Scottish egg. I didn't really care that much for the turkey leg to be honest. It no, it wasn't all that good. It was okay. It like honestly, it was it was pretty good for a turkey leg. Like it's the best turkey leg I've had, 
But I had a lot better than that. Like to be um, honest, like I mean, it wasn't bad, but they definitely could improve it. The Scotch eggs were good. Um, really? So I might try one next year. What the Scotch eggs are is it's just like a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage, and then there's like some sort of um. There's like some sort of like crumbs around it. I don't remember exactly what he said. Yeah, some sort of like breadcrumbs. I don't remember what it was. You know what? That those would be were really, really good. good. You know what that would be really good for? What a breakfast. That that was like honestly, I was eating. I'm like, oh my gosh, this sounds like it'd be really good for breakfast. And yeah, stuff. that sounds like a really good breakfast so, meal. Yeah, but it all overall, fun time at at Renfest. Like, definitely going back next year. Yeah. So, um, may even record next year. Who knows? Yeah, we might go as like our our characters next year but moving on from that to editing because we need to do discuss a little bit of editing right now we're not we don't really okay so the pokemon series that we're doing doesn't really require a whole lot of editing it's, it's mostly fast forwarding yeah and it's just going to be a lot of fast forwarding to show our grinding and just make sure that we're not cheating <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah the minecraft stuff we haven't really started editing anything. We haven't started playing. It. But what well, we did, we did the first episode. We did the first episode. And that was it. Yeah, because you had to move, and your internet's really bad right now. Which it's going to get better very soon. So Spectrum broke our water line. <laughs> and they, Spectrum, the contractors that are putting in the Spectrum lines, not only broke our water line, but knocked out the power. And they did the same at mine. They cut our water line. Because he does live power. kind of close, so it like. I don't know because they're doing they're doing like spectrum all over. Oh where no! We when live. they were when they were doing it on my area, I'm not saying where I'm saying okay. when they were doing it at my area, they cut the power and water too. Yeah, they that, did the same thing they did here, in my area. Yeah, which so. is dumb. It's mm, I don't know. Idiots. That's don't why you don't know. hire contractors. You just do it yourself. Pretty but. much, yeah. But some stuff does require a contractor. Yep. Anyway, so yeah, and. Anyway, with all that editing notice done that we're not really doing much on Minecraft, we won't probably edit it until we've got everything done for the season. Yeah, that makes sense. Same with same with Pokemon, because the Pokemon series will probably finish it, and then we'll yeah. either finish it or get really close to finishing it, and Actually, then start uploading. I want to talk a little bit about Pokemon. So, you know, uh, I don't remember how, how you pronounce it. It's uh, Lock something. He, he's a big Pokemon YouTuber. He talks Bloodlock? about, like... Huh? Ludlock or Lachlan? Lachlan. Yeah. It's Lachlan. I think so. But anyways, the one guy that goes through uh, Pokemon Nuzlocks and critiques them. No, no, he does Pokemon lore. Uh... Okay, well, go on with the story. You don't have to know the guy's name. I actually do because this is important. So while I look this up, can you actually talk about like Pokemon Scarlet Moon or anything? Pokemon, Pokemon Scarlet Moon. You've heard it here first, folks. There's a new Pokemon game coming out. It's called Pokemon Scarlet Moon. It's with Sun and Moon and Pokemon Scarlet mixed together. Um, there's going to be Pokemon walking behind you. You're going to be able to do the like hyper training. Don't have any internet. There's there's a setting to make to change the difficulty of the game. There's even um, Nuzlocke mode, and there's there's a new Pokemon. It's called Gun. It's literally just a gun. Oh, stop it. You, well, hey, you just were saying for me to announce the new game, and I'm announcing the new game. Coming out in uh, 2069. Um, the date that's coming out is 420. Can I use your phone real quick to search this? No. Sure. What, like, I, I don't even know what the YouTuber's name is. But well, I'm just gonna look it up on Google because I can. I, there's a specific thing I can look up to just get it. So Shubaduck actually winks in the animation, and I don't think I've noticed. Like I think this is the first time I've noticed that he like actually winks whenever he jumps around. What should the thumbnail for this podcast be? Hmm, that's a good question. Should we have it the Kirito swords like on Shubaduck's back? With him wearing like a black cloak, as Kirito, so he's dressed up as Kirito, and then we we show him at like a Renaissance festival somewhere. No. That'd be kind of funny, actually. Fun fact, actually, they won't let you bring Steel Swords into the Renaissance festival, and if you buy Steel Swords there, they like they leave them at the gate for you, and you have to pick them up at the gate. Where is your YouTube? Where's my YouTube? So it's kind of it's my YouTube is right here. We're talking on the channel right now. 
But it's it's kind of ironic that like such a event that's based on like actual weapon, actual medieval weaponry and stuff. It's like, oh, you can't carry that around. But you know, I guess it's just a safety precaution. So, Arsene's still trying to find out the name of Ludwig. It's... Is that what it is? Oh no, no. Ludwig is the Ludwig's the huge Twitch streamer that went over to YouTube. It's this guy. It's this guy. That that's not even um that's not even explaining to the channel. Please say his name. Please say his name. Can you not pronounce Loxton and Dog and Loxton and Ganagan? Loxton and Ganagan. Pretty it's much, yeah. G- so he- Hold on, let me let me spell this out for the for the people listening here. So it's L O C K S T I N and symbol G N O G G I N. So I think that's Noggin. Yeah. Locks but, in Noggin. So he has. He's like a huge. He does like everything. He's like one of the biggest Pokemon like lore YouTuber people. He's like one of the biggest lore people in the community. They can't hear you because you're actually facing the other side of the mic. He's one of the biggest, like, YouTubers in the lore community of Pokemon. And he made a Pokemon game. Like a fan game. Really? And he's working on his second one now. And just like how I want us to play uh, Pokemon Insurgents, I think it would be really fun to play that game. Because I've been listening to, like, the story and the lore and, like, where is... Where, like, the characters and... You're over here explaining with your hands, and I'm just like, don't hit my TV. I'm not going to hit the TV. (laughs) Oh, jeez. But, um, yeah. I can can literally stop, like, an inch from... We could turn into a lore channel. Who knows? No, I don't want to do a lore channel. I want to do... I don't want to turn into lore. I want to play the game and experience the game that he's created. Yeah. As of right now, we are just a uh, podcast channel. Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) Pretty much. Podcast channel until further notice. Honestly, I would love... I say we play through, like, the main series of the Pokemon, and then yeah. we go into fan games like Insurgents, uh, what's the one that's got, like, radiation and all that stuff? Uh, uranium? Yeah, Uranium. Yep. Uranium, do the, his games. I think it would just be fun to play some of the more famous ones. We could. We could. We could. Who knows? Right now, we're in the middle of a, uh, of another Pokemon playthrough, but. Yeah. Where so, are we finished? Where are we finished that one? It's free reign. Yeah, and I think it's finally time we talk about the last real big topic. The end of my car saga on this channel. Oh yeah, so his car got hit by another deer. Yeah, and it tore off my bumper. And, uh... See, it's it's funny because I don't know if I should explain what actually happened. Yeah, that is what actually happened. Yeah. Yeah. Both nodding our heads at each other. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. What long actually, story short, long story short. Uh, uh, my car was damaged. We've officially decided it's done. And me and my parents effectively just, we sold it and bought a new car. It's a, it's an Impala, man. And it got hit by another deer. Yeah, that, that car is cursed to begin with. I just feel like something happened that added even more of a curse to it. It could just be my horrible luck. Who knows? I mean, I did but hit. I did hit three deer with that car. Arsene's car saga is now over. That car is sold and gone. I have. I'm getting my car back, my Lancer back, like next week or something. Also, my cat has a project car. I'm gonna put a photo up on screen right now. <laughs> your cat. When your cat. When you said my cat, she turned around. You know, like an owl does. Like it looks straight at me. Like, yeah, she looked straight at you with like those giant eyes, and it was just like, yeah. ooh. So I saw a TikTok of someone pulling a cat around in a box with a spoiler on it, and it was playing the Tokyo Drift song. <laughs> and so I saw that, and I immediately went to, okay. I'm making my cat, uh, like, a car. Like, I'm making my cat a project car out of a cardboard box. Oh, my God. I started working on it last night, and she she would get in it whenever I'm working on it and stuff. <laughs> but as soon as I, like, got, like, where I, where I thought, okay, I'm done with it for now. I'll come back to it and add more to it later. She did not want to jump in it. I put treats in there, and then she jumped in it. But past that, cats are—they're so weird. Yeah, you so can I'm, buy them. You could buy them the nicest thing, and then they'll just go to a box, and it's just like 
I just bought you like a three thousand dollar <laughs> cat stand, and you want the box? I spent like twenty minutes making that thing, and she don't want anything to do. And with it. And she didn't want anything to do with it. So <laughs> that's so I'm, typical of a cat. I'm pretty much going to keep working on that. That's her. That's her little project car, and um, I, like I have an image on screen of it, but uh, I'm gonna keep working on that. And then whenever I get it um, finished, I'll I'll probably talk about it on the podcast. I also want to make a comment here. You're such a dad because you're working on a car for your kid and your kid wants nothing to do with it. She wants everything to do with it. Do you see her determination in her eyes right now? She her, she looked right at me. I can see her laziness literally <laughs> emanating in waves. She's just like, I'm just going to have you do everything, Dad. She's, she's watching us both do the podcast and just looks so disappointed. <laughs> I can't wait till we actually decide on doing like... Whenever, whenever I like get a proper mic set up, where we do an actual like sit down and record like actual footage of us talking, yeah, they're talking, because be it's so cool to just see our reactions, like like even when we were doing it on Discord ac- away from each other, it didn't feel as cool as like sitting doing across from person. a table with you, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, there's that, and honestly, I how much time we are are we at? 27 minutes really it feels like it's been longer it feels like it has but it's been a really good podcast this is the first this is a good one that we haven't had like we haven't had a good one in a little bit a little bit yeah and i th- I think we can go a few more minutes but um i think we should start wrapping stuff up pretty all much. right so um last couple things here um we might have a new member sometime soon we will discuss that um just depends um we gotta talk to him and stuff and see what his schedule's like and all that I will but, uh, say right now that we've made the joke that at this point he should just get a church a shirt that says uh, "Meet Spintar." Eventually, Sunday. eventually, whenever we get like four or more members, I want to make randomest one on one shirts. That would and be give fun. them to everybody. Get merch. Yeah, yeah like private I merch. Would... No private merch for just oh, the channel. Just, just just for us. Just member stuff. Yeah, that'd just be for fun. members. Yeah, because I want to do that, and then eventually. Whenever we get enough subscribers, I'll make actual merch. But just the the like the member merch with just yeah, like us, yeah, just it'll be cool because us. we can look back and be like, oh hey, this is the shirt that started it all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that would be very fun. So I'm paying attention, I'm just you're trying to fix the caps that you knocked over. No, I just love playing with. Anyways, them. guys, I'm sorry that the podcast hasn't been every week. We discussed it trying to be every week or trying to be every other week. It's very much been every chance we get to upload, which is very pretty slim. much. And unfortunately, because it was like literally every chance we had, we were kind of running low on content. So yeah, uh, that's why we've been gone. We're we're I. I'd love to say, oh, we're going to try and come back, but oh, honestly, not right now. Not well, yet. We're, we're still going to come back eventually. We're going to come back eventually. We're but still, we're still here. What, what are we talking about? We're still here. It's just a podcast channel for now. Yeah. When we finish the Pokemon series, we'll upload it periodically so you guys will see that like, Actually, every Actually, I week. want to mention something. Yes. Actually, no. I'm not going to mention it now. I'll mention it to you later. Okay. But, uh, but whenever we finish the Pokemon series, we're going to upload an episode every week. That way you guys at least have something coming out of our channel. Um, we'll do the podcast just kind of like every other week or whenever we can still. But the Pokemon series will be a thing where like whenever we finish recording the whole thing, it'll come out periodically well, so that they would see l- it. Pretty close, yeah. We're going to record the Pokemon series and then we're going to record the Minecraft series. Yep. Once the Minecraft series is fully recorded... That's when we'll start uploading Pokemon, so that while we're editing the Minecraft, Pokemon's going on in the background. Yeah. And so once Minecraft is uploaded, we'll eventually start we'll we'll get in, we want to we want to get into a spot where we're like, okay, we're recording this new stuff, but we also have old stuff that's already edited, already ready to upload. That's like being time to upload. Eventually, what's going to happen is we're going to have pretty much a. It's going to become like a three part season where. We're going to be recording one series. We're going to record a series. Upload another series. One, and upload one. And then once we've finished the recording one, we'll start editing it. And we'll up, we'll probably have a down season. Effectively, yeah. it'll be series, season, series. And that season is going to be just a random season of maybe Uno videos or something. Just speaking of Uno, we probably should do some Uno. 
Ubisoft account has been weird for me lately. Oh, it's, it's been whack for me, too. It, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Ubisoft, get your shit together. I don't know. I had three accounts, and that was part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're going to leave it at that, guys. So thanks for listening to the Brandmas One on podcast. Uh, be sure to tune in. We uh, upload... <laughs> once like three weeks or something i don't know uh, random spontaneous blue moons yeah you know, uh, we're, we're called ramus 101 for a reason like comment share the video it will help uh don't forget to ring that bell icon and, and uh we'll see you in the next video bye